Kati crew, Kati crew, Kati crew. Listen, guys, listen, sis, okay? You guys need to watch this full video. Watch the full video. Watch this video until the end because I'm dropping them gems in here. I'm dropping them gems. I'm putting you guys onto game. I'm teaching you guys how to get these popping curls, these defined curls, these juicy curls. And if you want your curls to be popping and juicy like mine, then sis, you better watch this full video, okay? These products are the truth. The combination of these products are the truth. And I want us all to look cute and popping with our curls, okay? Pop and it's your girl Kati Wild back at it again with another video. If you are new to Kati Crew, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be testing out Lush Thirst Curl and Wave Gel Activator. I had done a poll on my Instagram a few days ago and I had asked you guys if you guys wanted the next hair video to be me testing out this curl activator or me trying out a new hair paint wax color. And the majority votes were for this so we're gonna try this out today the curl activator we had about maybe 75 to 79 percent voted for this so we're gonna try this out first and then the hair paint wax video will eventually come my but. hair has been washed and deep conditioned off camera using my fortified natural products i then detangled my hair added jamaican castor oil fortified naturals leave-in conditioner to my hair and twisted it please refer to this video to see my wash day routine to see how well these products work for me and my detangling process i will also link it at the top right corner of the screen. So today I'm just going to be using um, my spray bottle which is filled only with water and then I'm going to be using of course the curl activator gel and then I'm going to be using extreme wet line gel to go on top. It's going to be a top coat to the curl activator and we're going to see how well it works in my hair and I'm going to be using this brush. I bought this brush about maybe four or five months ago but I did see it a lot on my Instagram feed and it'll be popping up. I found a lot of naturalistas and a lot of natural um, hair influencers and brands and I happened to see them posting this or just ads popping up with this brush so I decided to buy it. I got this brush actually from Hair Paint Wax where I get my wax from for my hair and in the description box I will link this brush there for you guys to purchase um, if you would like to try it out but I tried it out for the first time today when I was washing my hair and it works pretty well with getting the knots out and everything but my only problem with it was just that my hair was really knotted up because I haven't washed it since it's the rice water challenge and I was just adding gel adding gel a lot this um, past week so I got a lot of knots but um the best thing to do with this brush is to just um, finger detangle and then like the big knots and then come in with this brush but I love the brush it's pretty cool like it so we're gonna jump right into this video guys so don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed please like comment and share and let's get to it let's get to it do you guys see my t-shirt too yeah we don't we don't drive with towels over here baby we don't do that we don't do that over here okay it's straight t-shirt so yes I have the same t-shirt I had in the rice water challenge plus wash day routine video here and I got my clips to help me and I also have a scrunchie which I'm about to take down so yeah my hair is in twist um, after I washed it and I put um, leave-in conditioner from fortified naturals and um, Jamaican cast oil in here I just put it in twist just to make it easier but um, I definitely think my hair grew from doing the wash water challenge because look at this we're gonna, we're gonna test one of these out got a little frizz going on hold on do you think my hair grew I think it grew from the rice water challenge and I had a lot of hair that shed it too during washing today because whenever it takes me whenever I take a long time to wash my hair this product builds up and I just get so much knots and I'm going to show them on here that I lost today from wash day but this is juicy this is all from Fortivite's Nashville's leave-in conditioner that's in my hair and just Jamaican castor oil that's it all right, we gonna get started though. So first I'm going on my spray bottle, which only has water. I'm gonna just wet this section. Ooh. 
mind you, I only have leave-in conditioner and Jamaican castor oil in my hair. That's the only products I put in my hair after I washed it, so. You see some definition yet? No? I'm gonna just add a little bit more water. Now we're going in. I got a nice amount of the um, Luster's Curl and Wave Activator. So now I'm just gonna work this through my hair. I'm going in with the extreme, extreme wet line. This is a lot of gel, oh my gosh. This is like a lot. Let's see how they can work together. So. Okay, the curls is getting a little bit more defined. Try to brush it. Ooh. Brush the products through. Look how elongated my curls are. I stopped brushing it because I think when I brushed it, it was making my curls frizzy and clumping them together. Okay. How it looks so far? Mm -hmm.
I think where I did not brush, like the top parts are popping. Like look how fine the curls are. But the bottom parts, like underneath here, they kind of still popping, but they frizzy. See how it's frizzy? It's frizzy because your girl was brushing it. I shouldn't have did that. I don't know why I even brushed it. I shouldn't have did that. Ooh, they're pumping up though. Let's do the top now. How long this braid is, though. Oh my god. You see how greasy my hair looks? It's so moisturized because I use um, Jamaican castor oil and um, the fortified natural leave-in. After I wash it, I did that. Spray bottle. Run the water down. Add a little more water to the ends. the um, curl activator, generous amount, focus on the ends, just run it through. This is just a curl activator in here. Now I'm about to go through with the extreme in a moment. But we're gonna keep running it through. Now going in with the extreme, got a nice generous amount. I really believe the rice water challenge is thing to my hair. Like, I really feel like it grew. I mean, I did have a lot of shedding today because it took me, I haven't washed my hair in like a month. But I really think the rice water challenge, um, the rice water experiment did thing to my hair because I feel like it got really longer. And I'm gonna continue doing it. I'm gonna do it once every two months. And I'm gonna see, I'm not gonna obviously film it, but I'm gonna continue doing it on my personal, for my, for my personal self and private. And then I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram about it when I do it and Snapchat. So if you guys aren't following me um, on Instagram, you should be. So Instagram is like Kati Wub. All right. So make sure you guys follow me because I'm going to get updates on there actually. Going with a generous amount of the curl activator.
good amount of the um, extreme wet line. So this is the final result. It's not fully dried on. The bottom is kind of dry, but the top is still damp, of course. Um, like I said earlier in the clip, in the earlier clip, um, I think I would have had more elongated curls. My curls still look popping or elongated, but the bottom parts are a little bit frizzy. I felt a little dry and that's because I believe it's because I brushed it and I shouldn't have brushed it. But this brush is cute. Get into it guys. You guys should purchase one. Um, but yeah, this is the curl um, activator on my hair with the extreme wet line. Um, I'd probably definitely try this again as a wash and go because it doesn't really look bad. I mean, I have to see, wait and see until my hair looks fully dry. But right now I'm kind of loving this little wet look, this little wet poodle little wet poodle little wet dog look I'm kind of liking it strength is, is real I did expect to get more um elongation but I think I don't have that much at the bottom it's because of me brushing it which I shouldn't have done but you guys tell me you guys like it thank you guys so much for watching this video um please give it a big thumbs up if you like this um like comment and share let me know any other hair challenges or hair experiments you guys would like me to share um let me know if you guys have actually tried this curl activator before in your hair um yeah that's pretty much it so please subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet like comment and share and i'll see you guys in my next video bye